Now that you are thorough with the conjugation in the present tense, we are going to learn a new tense today. It is le passé composé. So passé composé is past tense. On utilisé, one utilizes le passé composé, the past tense, pour indicate, to indicate une action passé. That one action has passed. So we use passé composé to indicate that a particular action has already been done. That is the past tense. So on form, one form, la passé composé avec. So we have two rules for passé composé. So we either use avoir. So when I say avoir, it is avoir, the conjugation, plus participe passé. Du verb, the past participle of that particular verb. So, to form the passé composé, we take the verb, we form its past participle. I will show you how to form the past participle. We write the avoir conjugation for that subject. So, avoir plus past participle of the verb. So, this is in most of the cases. In some cases, we need to write the conjugation of être plus the past participle. So, which are the cases in which we need to use être? Some examples are for the verbs aller, venir, partir, sortir, etc. So, these, if you notice, are the verbs indicating motion. So, aller is to go, venir is to come. Partir is to leave. So these are verbs of motion. So before these verbs, if we need to make the passé composé of these verbs, we use être plus the past participle of these verbs. For other verbs, it is avoir plus past participle. So now you know the rules for passé composé. So why do we use passé composé? To indicate that the action has already passed. It is done. The two rules are avoir plus the past participle of that verb. And for some cases, that is for verbs of motion like aller, venir, partir, we use être plus the past participle. The conjugation of être plus the past participle of those verbs. Now we shall now I shall show you how to do how to form the past participle of some common verbs. So now participe passé the past particle. So for the ER verbs we are going to see how to write the past participle. So now MA for the ER verb the past participle is formed by removing er and adding e with an accent so this is how you form the past participle of an er verb so now it is the same for all the er verbs so do it along with me for prepare prefere Remove ER and replace it with E and an acute accent. Next, habite. Remove ER and add E accent. So, you know how to form the past participle of these ER verbs. Remove ER and add E with an acute accent. So now the next travail. Aller, André, 
So this is how we write the past participle of these ER verbs. Now for the verb avoir. So this is a special form. So EU. The past participle is EU. So you just have to remember this. For the ER verbs, of course, it is simple. Remove ER and add E with an acute accent. Now, this here is very important. So if you do not add this, it just becomes the normal conjugated form. So to show that it is in the past participle, we add this accent. So for the ER verbs, all the ER verbs, it's the same. We add E acute accent in, in place of ER. And I told you to remember for avoir, the past participle is EU. So now you know to write the past participle for ER verbs. I will show you how to write it for the other verbs as well.